tips and tutorials to increase your online presence. Websites, social media, online donations, applications, databases, and more. This is OrgSpring. Hey, this is Craig from OrgSpring. Thanks for joining us for this video. We are going to be discussing Nimble. It's a relatively new social CRM. That is a CRM that has some fantastic integration with your social media channels. Uh, this is something that Salesforce, uh, a very big and popular CRM, which we've written and spoken about a lot, uh, has been trying to do for the last couple of years, buying up different companies um, like Radiant 6 and things like that. Uh, but in our opinion, Nimble is a CRM that just gets it right with social interaction, which is obviously increasingly important as we go on both on our desktops uh, and mobile devices. So we're going to give you a quick review of the uh, software as a service, and we're going to walk you through our own Nimble account and show you how we use it uh, and how other nonprofits can use it. Uh, we realize there are a lot of CRM entries into the nonprofit space with varying degrees of integrations to third-party applications. Uh, Nimble is a fantastic one. It just works really well and is very well integrated, uh, not only with a few third-party integrations, but with all of your social media channels. So uh, stick with us for a few minutes and we'll go through this. And at the end of the video and also in the text post uh, that goes along with this video, you'll be able to get a link that will link you off directly to the Nimble platform. So um, thanks for uh, checking out this video and we hope you enjoy it. So just as a basic intro, a CRM is a customer relationship manager. And what this does is it's a database that allows you to keep track of the contact information of your customers or your contacts in general. And it allows you to relate those contacts to different types of functions. Obviously, the key part of a CRM is to track contact information, that is phone number, email, company, and other interactions like um, ways you would email them or ways you would contact them, phone calls, you can log a note. Um, as you're speaking to someone, you could log an activity like an event. Um, you can keep track of events, calendar, task items for things you might need to do with somebody or for somebody. So in that way, a CRM is really a relational database. It takes contacts, relates it to accounts and companies and other types of interactions that you might have with that person. What Nimble does is add the social aspect to it. Previously, when you had a CRM, you would either have to integrate it with a third-party application to get social contacts into your site, or you would have to export your contacts from those social areas. So for example, if you wanted to take your Facebook contacts and put them into your CRM, you would have to export all of your contacts into a CSV file or some other uh, type of uh, contact flat file and then import that to your CRM. If you wanted to do the same thing with your Twitter contacts or your Google contacts or contacts inside of your email program, uh, say, you would have to export those from those individual programs and then import them into the CRM. It's a lot of work and for non-technical people it's really a pain in the ass. So what Nimble has done has integrate all of those things. It works beautifully with Gmail. It works extremely well with all of the major social activities or social networks, if you will, including Google+, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, among others. But obviously those four are the major four social networks where you're spending most of your time and probably have most of your contacts. It also works with things like Foursquare um, as well. So. It integrates amazingly well with your Google contacts. If you have a Gmail account, it will also tap directly into your Outlook if you're using Outlook as your, your main program. It can also tap into your Mac Mail program to get the uh, email addresses and contact information for people that you might be managing within your Mac address book. So uh, it just has an amazing integration. And when you access the system, you have the ability to go through uh, this really cool tour which shows you all of the features and functions of Nimble. But 
much like uh, other databases, you're going to have a real simple interface here and, and Nimble really strips it down for you and, and keeps it really basic. I'm gonna close out this tour and I'm just gonna show you some of the features. So we're here in the contact view and really there's there's three things. It's almost set up like a blog or, or a uh, threefold website, if you will. You have your categories here, you have your actual contact information here, and then you have your tags on the right. So these are all of the contacts related to a particular account. So this is our account, and these are all of our contacts, and we have thousands of them in here. And just a quick view is gonna show you the social picture that this person uses or prefers. It'll show you their name or their company, depending on what you're looking at. And it'll show you what type of feed they have. So this one obviously is associated with a Twitter contact, and this one has certain tags attached to it. it tells us when this particular content was created. Now you have the ability to very easily filter based on name or account or company. You can click here, and it'll give you different options to filter on. So for example, if I wanted to filter on the last contact by the team, we could actually filter out when the last type of contact was made with that person. We could also filter based on creation date. So what you see here on the left is a category view. So we have the ability to view all contacts, which is what we're looking at. We could separate this out just by important contacts, and those are contacts that we star with different levels. So you'll see here we have a few people that we have starred and deemed important contacts. You can also click on just people, and people means a person contact or record as opposed to a company. And this will list the names of the different companies here. And then once you click inside that company, you actually get a list on the right side of the people at that company. So if you had many people within this particular company, they would all show up here and then you could interact with individuals of that company. So just go back to the main contact view and we can also look at just the recently added contacts, which you'll see here. And then we can look at people who we have contacted recently. So this is a list of people who we have contacted recently and then we can go and interact with them as well. You'll notice some of these contacts have more social profiles. And then you can click on that and link directly to that social profile. One of the really cool features of Nimble is just by hovering over with your mouse this particular contact inside the contact view right here, you'll get information about that particular contact. For example, here we're hovering over the Facebook image and it gives us a direct link to this person on Facebook. It also gives us some of the general information that it lists from the Facebook page. And right here, from within Nimble, we can direct message this person on Facebook. We also have other options we could add a task right here in Nimble for this person. We could also view that full profile. We have the ability to do the same thing with this person's LinkedIn profile. It shows us their LinkedIn profile and their general information from that profile. We could send them a general message in LinkedIn or we can add specific tasks here in Nimble. So there's a lot of different things that you could do on a social level directly within Nimble. Now, in my opinion, this is a great advantage over a system like Salesforce, which while it does have social integration, it does not allow you to as quickly link over to the social profiles or to tap into those social APIs directly in the system the way that Nimble does. So this is a great advantage for a system uh, like Nimble. Now up here in the top, you'll also see something called signals. Now this is a really cool feature too, and what Signals is, is a list of all the different types of interactions. Now, in my opinion, the word Signals uh, really isn't that intuitive, but the way the system works is, um, what you have here are all the different types of networks you have linked up. So I have my Twitter network linked up, the Facebook page linked up, we have the organization linked up to LinkedIn, and we also have, you can see here the Facebook page, this is a personal Facebook account. And then we also have Google linked up. And what you'll see here are all of the interactions within our network. And then there's a icon next to the type of interaction. So this just lists a complete unified feed 
of all of our social interactions related to all of the organizations and contacts we have. So what you have here is a true roll up, not only of the contacts and organizations that we have as contacts in our CRM, but it's also a roll up of all the people who interact with us in a social way online. So if somebody just tweets at us at OrgSpring, that will show up in our feed, regardless of whether they're in our system or not. This is a fantastic thing. This is something that Salesforce and other CRMs don't have. If they're not listed as a contact in your database, they don't show up. So what we have here is a complete roll up of anyone who tweets at you or sends you a Facebook message or interacts with you on LinkedIn or interacts with you on say email or your Facebook page. So for example, we'll take this person here who I don't know personally, but just today we have been interacting with each other on Twitter. So you'll see here, I hover over this person and I'm giving her information here. It tells us where she is. It gives us her Twitter profile because that's how we interacted. It shows how many people are following her, how many she's following, how many tweets and her clout score. And right from here, we can click mention to mention her inside Twitter. We can click unfollow to unfollow her via Twitter, or we can instantly import this contact. So if this were someone it looks like I, I wanted to know, in, in which case it is, I would very easily click import contact. And just like that, she has been imported into our system as a contact. So I will just click on her name and here she has, is as a contact in our system. And it automatically pulls over all of her information. So if she has any contact information listed on her Twitter profile, it will show up here just like it does here. And then we can add different tags. For example, we found her via Twitter, so I have a Twitter tag. So I will add that and click Done. Also, on the right side of the page, it's attempting to match her with other social profiles that might be her as well. So if we hover over these profiles, we can see if they match who this person is. Now it's not very apparent whether a lot of these people are the same, but it looks like the LinkedIn profile is. So I simply click add and you'll notice it adds her LinkedIn profile directly to the system. And if there are any interactions, you'll see her social stream, it will pull up all of the Twitter feeds and also the LinkedIn interactions that she has right here. So we can see a feed particular to her social feed right inside of our system. And if there's anything we wanna do with this, we can interact directly with her right from inside Nimble. You'll also see within her social feed, we have options we could do here. We can reply directly to this Twitter quote. We can also pull down here, we could retweet this message, we could direct message her, we could star this, we can also create a task from this. So for example, if we wanted to follow up with her down the road, we would click create task and this allows us to create a task within our Nimble system. We could set a due date, we could assign it to somebody else on our team. Obviously, we relate that to her contact. If we have a particular deal going with her organization, we can relate that there, and we could even tag this. So let's just say we're going to follow up with Jessica, and we'll save that. Now this also updates on the system. So what you will see here You'll notice under her contact page, we'll just roll up her contact information real quick to make this all visible on the page, we have a pending activity. And right now it's set as May 26, and obviously that happens in the past, so we might want to change that. I'm sorry, we set this to be June 5th, so it is okay. It just goes one week down the road. And then we can actually comment on this task and our entire team can see that. So. There's a lot of different things that, that you can do here with this. Also, we'll go back to the signals page. You'll notice we can filter by different streams. So for example, this shows us all of our notifications. We'll look into the signals page and we can check based on engagement. So let's say I just wanted to separate out people who, who have birthdays coming up soon. We can click here 
and interact with them by sending them a direct message in their feed. And we could do that right from here. We could also link over to that person's contact page within Nimble. We could also reflect on job changes. So for example, anyone who's had a recent job change will see right here. And this is a great way to send status updates and messages to those people. We could also look at new connections. These are brand new connections in different streams. So for example, if somebody starts following us via Twitter, it will show up here. And this is a great way to interact with people. Clearly, when someone follows you via Twitter, they're interested in interacting with you. In other systems like Salesforce, there's virtually no way to get this information inside your system. You have to open Twitter separately or Hootsuite or whatever system you use uh, to make this apparent. In Nimble, it rolls it up for you directly. We can link directly to this person and it lists their information on Twitter because that's how we were interacted with them. And all we would do right here is click import contact and that person would be imported directly as a contact into our system. We'll go back to signals. You can also look up just retweets, mentions, comments, likes, and this rolls up all the different systems. And you'll see how this works here. For example, we have anyone who has tweeted at us or about us or has retweeted any of our things and that will all be listed here and we can import them similarly. Down below we can click on all streams and that will pull in all of our feeds again across all these different things. And this is really cool because what this does is it acts almost like the way Hootsuite acts. You'll notice it pulls in all of our streams in a unified view. So this is something that's going on Right now, this person just tweeted, and this is in our uh, Twitter stream. If we went to Facebook, we would see just the things going on in our Facebook page. If we go to LinkedIn, we'll see all the different connections we have uh, to the people in LinkedIn and the posts that they are posting right now. We could look at our Facebook page, and if anyone makes any updates to our company Facebook page, that will show up here. It's an amazing way to get, again, I keep saying it's a unified view, but you rarely have to leave nimble to see what's going on across all your social media channels. This is such an efficient way to look at all of your social media engagement. This is really important for organizations that deal with people on their social media streams. You could also look at your own profile and edit your own profile, and this is your personal profile as opposed to your uh, company profiles, which you'll see there. And then any pending posts that you have, and this is the beauty of this system, because inside Nimble, it gives you the ability to attach to things like Buffer and Twitter directly. It also allows you to attach to Bitly so you can shorten your links using your own Bitly account. So if you say you retweeted something and you scheduled it for down the road, that would show up here as a pending tweet or a pending Facebook uh, interaction. You could also set up search terms. So for example, I've set up something called OrgSpring, which is just the name of our organization. So anytime somebody mentions OrgSpring on any different feed, be it Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, it will show here. And I could see people tweeting at OrgSpring. I could also do a search for say, nonprofit social media for political campaign. And that will show any type of engagement anyone is doing that uses the word social media campaign with political campaigns. And you can see here, all of these things are listed. You see there's some interaction via Twitter and Facebook, and you could interact with those people on that level. So it's a great way to run searches for particular keywords across all of your social media streams. Doing a known status update is easy just by clicking status update here or new message. So we can send a Twitter direct message, an email directly from here. Now going back up top, we look at this link here for messages. And you'll see clicking on this, we'll go back to our inbox. Clicking on messages brings you to an inbox. Now I have this linked to my Gmail account, but we are looking at our overall inbox. So you'll see here we have messages. And again, this is a unified inbox. Anyone who sends us a message via Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google, or you'll see here Gmail or general mail or uh, Google Apps will come here. And you have the option to interact with them via many different ways. 
you can reply directly. You can archive this message, and in the case where you're hooked up with Google Apps, it will archive it in your Google Apps as well. It has great native integration with your, your Google Apps and your Gmail application. Or you could take more options, star it, delete it, forward it, create a task directly from an email. It even shows you how many messages there are and whether a attachment might be included with that message. So for example, if we look here at this particular message, it gives you your similar Gmail or Google Apps roll-up view of your different emails. We can click on any one of these emails. We can click on the application itself, uh, the attachment to look at that. And on the right side, we have information about this particular person linked directly to our contact manager. So you'll see here, we have information about who this person is. We could send them a message directly. We can automatically add an activity like a task. We could see any other messages that we've had with this person in the last couple days. We could see any activities that we might be working on with this person or that might have been completed recently. So you see I spoke with this person at one o'clock today and we could check the notes from that. I also spoke with them you know, a few months ago and different things that we've done in relation. If we have any deals working with that particular person, you could see that information. And then you could also see this person's social stream listed right here as well and there's different ways to interact with them that way. Of course, you can separate this out. If you only wanted to see email interactions, you click this link here and it just shows us email. If you only wanted to see direct Twitter messages, you would see that there. Same thing with Facebook and LinkedIn. Once again, you have the ability to look at all your activities and this is a list view of activities. So you can see all the different things that are going on in an agenda view. You could also link over to a calendar view and this will integrate directly with your calendar feeds. So if your calendar has the ability to pump out a feed like your Gmail calendar, your Google Apps calendar, or an ICS type of feed, you can link that directly with Nimble and look at it in different types of views. You can very easily create a new activity and relate it to a person and put that right onto your feed. You also have the ability to look at deals with different terms, and this is all customizable. So if you're working on a particular deal, say you're working on a grant application, you could create right here, you would create a new deal, and you would put that, say your organization was sending out a grant to somebody. You could put a grant in the qualification stage. When you've identified who the decision makers are, i.e. the grant administrators, you simply drag that task, and I'll show you how that works. We'll just say we're doing a grant for the Ford Foundation. We don't have a particular contact that we're working with yet, but we'll leave the rest of this blank and let's say it's a $10,000 grant and we're expecting it to close on August 1st. And we'll save that. And you'll notice it gives you the information here. And this is a deal, a grant that we're working on. You could change any of the information here you could also relate this to somebody. So for example, anytime you email somebody, whether you do it from Nimble or from within your Gmail or Google Apps or whatever email program you have hooked up, it will automatically record that. You don't have to BCC a ghost address. You don't have to have any special third-party integration. It just does it automatically and instantly. If you hook up a contact to this deal, it will track Twitter messages, Facebook messages, LinkedIn messages. It'll track any activities you've related to it and you could track notes. So for example, we could log a note that says we had a conversation with somebody. It was a great conversation. We're moving this to the next step. So if we go back to the pipeline, we'll see that this Ford Foundation grant shows up here in qualification. Now, if we have identified the decision makers, let's say we've identified who that uh, grant administrator would be, we would move it right to the decision makers tab. And if we said, uh, or if we had a conversation with that person and they, they maybe had a few questions for us and then we wanted to go and uh, change it a little bit, but they said it's looking promising, we might want to move this all the way to the negotiation stage. Then if this uh, eventually gets funded, you would drop it into the closed deal and that gets reported as a deal in your pipeline. So. There are different ways to look at this. Obviously, this is the graphical pipeline view, which is very easy to use. 
and again, all of this can be customized to fit your organization. You could also look at the list view. So you could have a roll up of all the different deals that you're working on at any particular time. And this is a fantastic way to look at the income or potential income for your organization. All of this that you see here can be reported on and can be exported if you want to analyze this information in a different way, say via Excel or Project or some kind of program like that. And one of the really cool features that I love of Nimble is the Today feature. And this is a relatively new function of Nimble. When you click on Today, it lists all of the information regarding things that are going on with you today. So you'll see here it takes a few people that I've had contact with today and it tells you, hey, these are today's top three contacts. They could be an email, they could be a Twitter message, and you could have the ability, if they're an important person, to set up an automatic reminder. For example, if I wanted to uh, keep in touch with this person, I would click reminder and I would say, let's make a point to follow up with this person on a monthly basis. It's gonna set that for us. We could also say we don't need to set a reminder for these people and it'll turn their contact yellow and it'll put them aside for now. It also gives you, based on the engagement that you might have had during the day, it'll give you some engagement opportunities. Now, if you're working on deals, it will take your deals and roll up the people involved with those deals and suggest that you interact with them based on the dates of the deals or the tasks you're working on. So for example, if we had a task set that needed to be due today, that would show up here in this engagement opportunity because it's telling you you need to engage with this person with whom you have a upcoming task or deal. You'll also notice it gives you birthdays and job changes right here and I've sent messages to some of these people today. You can congratulate them very easily and it pushes you off to that network. And it also gives you other engagement opportunities based on your social streams. So in this case, these people contacted us via Twitter. They either mentioned us or retweeted us or somehow got in contact with us by following us on one of our pages. And this gives you a great roll up view of people who you could either set reminders for or set tasks or reply directly in the Nimble system. So it's a great way just to look at the things that are important. If you are someone who likes to separate out what's important to get done today or look at some engagement opportunities that you might have, the Today View in Nimble is a great way to do that. You'll also notice that as updates come in in real time, you'll be notified here with this little icon inside Nimble. So if I were to click on this, you'll show it, that I have two tasks due today. So if I click on that note, it'll show me what my tasks are and I could respond to those tasks. So there's a lot that you can do inside Nimble, not only as a CRM, but also as a social engagement platform. And the beauty of this system is it keeps you organized from your contact view and also your social view. And as I mentioned when we first got started, it's a great system that integrates both your in-person contacts, people you, you contact or want to track on a regular basis, and also your social world. And it doesn't just throw those two together without any thought. You have the ability to keep them separate. For example, we do have a lot of people who contact us, as you can see inside Signals, that we don't have imported as contacts in our actual system. So you can keep these people separate. You can keep just your contacts uh, in your system separate from the contacts in your social media stream. And very easily, if you wanna add those people to your actual contact base, you can do that as well, and it's just a few clicks. Now we're gonna take a look very specifically at, I'll show you my contact record here, and we can look at the different information that you can see from a contact view. So you'll see here it shows uh, picture and you can edit that picture to show up. It gives you the company, the position inside that company, it links you off to that company. So for example, I could go right there and it'll show my company Orgspring information 
at this company, the people at that company that we have listed in the system. It also shows a general email where we're located. It shows the description from various social media profiles. It shows us when we last contacted that person. It shows connections we might share with that person. It shows their work addresses, their home addresses, if you have that information. It shows links, information they have via their other channels. For example, if they have a Facebook description that will show up here, a Twitter description will show up here. And then any type of contact you've had with them will show up automatically in this history field. And that includes all your channels. I could click on social stream and it'll show all of the updates from this person's social stream. And it will even show our shared connections. This is great because if you share connections with this person, there might be some other interesting people you might want to get in contact with related to certain activities that you're doing. Up top, we have an easy view to send messages to this person. We could send a message via email, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Those are all the different social media platforms they're hooked up with. We could also take action. We could log a note that we want to keep private for this person. We could add a task that we need to interact with this person. We could schedule a meeting. We could log an activity like an event or a uh, task. We can also assign a deal. If we have a deal in the pipeline, we could assign it to this person as if they were working on it or are a team member. We could also very easily edit this person's contact record. And this is where all of the heavy lifting is done on an individual contact basis. You'll see we have a lot of different information here. We have a tab just for contact info. We have different lead details where you might have gotten this lead from. You have different areas where you can add descriptions. You could add new URLs. For example, we can click there and say, hey, this is a personal blog. We can enter that person's blog there. We could also enter different types of addresses, different phone numbers, Skype IDs, Google addresses, Google IDs, all different types of profiles. You'll also notice that up here we have the ability to change our settings. And inside of your settings, we have a lot of different ways to handle your account. Of course, you can handle billing, and we'll talk about the cost of this at the end of the video. You can handle how your notifications are done. So you could have Nimble show you a notification every day and send you an email or have a pop-up window. You can import your different networks. You'll see here all the different types of networks that you could import natively into the system. You can reflect on what your usage is. Depending on the account you have, you have a different level of storage or you have a different amount of contacts you can keep. You could change your email signature that go out with all your email messages. You can look at the users for your organization. You can link up your deals. And then, of course, you can customize all of your data fields. So you'll see, for example, right now, we have just one data field, which is a contact info data field. This is how easy it is to create new fields. This is so much easier than a lot of other CRM systems where you need to be a programmer to understand how to collect different information. Let's say you're an organization that needs to collect specific information for your contacts. Let's just say that you want to uh, collect information about uh, different organizations that that person might be uh, affiliated with. So let's say you want to, or let's make it easier. Let's say you want to track whether that person is a member of your organization. You could click new tab and we'll just click here and we'll say, membership info and we'll show this in the all contacts view and we will click apply changes and it creates a tab for us called membership info and then we can create a new field so right here it's asking us what field do we want and this field for example right here we can edit this and it's saying put a field level. So we'll put down membership type. So let's assume that we have some sort of membership based website and we're trying to figure out whether this person is listed as a member or not. We would have field type here. We have different choices, single line, multi line, select box, separator address. So let's do a select box. And then we have different select box values here. So we could put Let's call it an intro member. Then we might have the ability for that person to be a full member or a premier member, something like that. 
and then we'll make that a one column we'll hit apply changes and that's it this is all saved it's all done if we go back to the contact field we're just going to update this person's contact information you'll see here automatically we've entered a new tab so in the contact information view we see the contact info tag there's always a system tag and this tells us when the contact was created who it was con created by when we contacted them and then here's our new membership info and right now there's no data here but we can edit that and we can look at this view right here we're editing this person's view and we could add a membership type so you'll see it gives us our drop down field this person's a full member we'll click update and it lists that view right in our contact view and you could have unlimited amount of custom fields here so if you track personal information like social security numbers or credit card information or if you track any other information that is outside of the standard information all you need to do is create a field and include that field inside your system you could have dozens of tabs for different types of information different types of related fields you could even attach links of files for example uh, if you have an online file somewhere you could attach a link say to Google Drive maybe that has a PDF document that you want to attach to this person you simply attach a link to that PDF doc and put it right into their record and that's a way to keep track of documents related to this person so it's just a really great sim uh, a system to interact with your online friends your offline friends and to integrate your CRM in a social way so if there's any questions you have about nimble or if you'd like to learn how to integrate this in a better way with your nonprofit or how to get started with nimble just feel free to leave a comment on this video or this post you'll see it in our YouTube feed you'll also see it on our blog at orgspring.com and feel free to send us a message and we'd be happy to help you implement nimble for your organization as a nonprofit you'll receive a discount with nimble and we're not affiliated with the nimble organization directly but we do know and having conversations with them that they'll offer discounts for nonprofit organizations so uh, you can sign up if you have one organization or one just one person at your organization you can have a really simple uh, organizational account that costs you nothing uh, and that allows you to have a minimal amount of fields but it's a great way to get started with a social CRM if you have a few more people and you need to have interactions with your team you can have uh, an upgrade to a system that costs I believe the current cost is just $15 per user per month which is almost half as much as Salesforce is and in my opinion gives you much better social integration so if you'd like to learn more about the system view the link uh, in the description of this video on our YouTube page and you can also look down into the text on our blog at orgspring.com and you'll see a link to go directly to the nimble page and get your discount if you are a nonprofit organization uh, also uh, check back with us in the comments here and feel free to leave a comment and let us know how you use your CRM system because we're always on the lookout for new and great CRM systems and we're always looking to help nonprofits improve the workflow with their CRM systems and how they use uh, cloud platforms uh, to work with keeping track of particularly contacts and donors and donor management so thanks again for looking at this video we hope you enjoyed it we know it was a long one but we like to be thorough with these things and we hope to see you back on Orgspring real soon